Hello. So in this video, we will discuss how we can debug debug through our SQL Server Studio procedure from our .NET code. So before going with the demo, I can also list some of the limitation which can cause during our Studio procedure debugging from .NET code. These are picked from the Microsoft site. There may be some more or less. So these are listed here like we cannot break execution, you cannot edit and continue, you cannot change the order of statement execution. Yes, one important thing like you can change the variable value but that may not get affected because the variable values are cached. Yes, that is right. And uh, the last one which is listed here is SQL print statement will not display. So these are some of the limitation which occurs while debugging through the .NET code. So let's get to the demo. Open Visual Studio. I am here using Visual Studio 2013. You can use any version that you are using. So you can either open your existing solution or project or you can create your own. Let's going to I don't have any project already. So I'm going to create a web application. New project Visual Studio 12 empty the application just put everything else yes so it will create a empty solution here right just add a web form here I will put some of the SQL statement or oh, sorry video.net statement which will calling my database so I already have some of the SQL, some of the ADU.NET statement which will need it to call a stored procedure. So this is it. Resolve the namespaces. Right. Yes. So this is the only statement. It is not doing much more. Just calling a stored procedure, cust order history, and passing a SQL parameter or customer ID with a value. ALFKI right so this is all is our application just close all so now I want to enable SQL server debugging on this application so you just have to select the project not the solution go to the property of project go to the web tab and from the debugger you can select the checkbox from for the SQL server save it build it that's good this was the first step the next step is to configure your SQL Server database tool right so go to the view server explorer and from the data connection add a data connection for your database server with particular database right you can choose whatever the database means you can choose SQL Server from here and provide the database address means server name username password and select the database okay i already have my database connection here listed the not win database which i am using expand it go to the steward procedure and select whatever the steward procedure you are interested to debug it so right click it select execute it will come up with a dialog which will list all the steward procedure parameters we can provide any of the value here I have chosen null here no issue just put a breakpoint to breakpoint to exec statement and select execute with debugger from the drop down or you can use alt plus f5 now debugger has encountered with the first line now press f10 to go to the net, next breakpoint now here you can press f11 to step into the stored procedure yes we come with the stored procedure here this stored procedure contains only one single select statement which is highlighted here we are passing a parameter customer id which is null so it's not showing any value here again plus f10 yes so this was the fine break uh, this is the debugging of the stored procedure from the database tool this is required while debugging from the 
.NET code as well because we need this file which then generated after the hitting the F11 from our this surface. So now you can put breakpoint anywhere in this file which is the definition of a stored procedure. So this is the second step and the final and third step is go to the your code and put the breakpoint on the execute reader or execute non query line so i am using here execute reader so i have just put the breakpoint here set this page as a startup page and press debug this is started the application execution and breakpoint hit to the execute reader just press f11 it will navigate me to the stored procedure now look we have passed the L A L F K I as a parameter value from the code so it's coming here F. now we can again put a breakpoint here to go back to set back our debugger to the video.net code press F10 we come back to our strip procedure uh, .net code and now it can execute or we can just run to cursor run to cursor so now so this is how we can means debug our distributed procedure code from adu.net code so that's what it's on this video thank you for watching